Okay, this is Seeking Sister Wife, Season 3, Episode 6. Got to be real. And John thought the season was over, so he was very confused this morning when I said we do the Seeking Sister Wife recap, and he goes, I thought, I thought those were done. He thought it was done in like the middle of the season. They just were like, eh, Roberta's still there, Taylor's still there. We haven't seen a thing from any of these people, but we're just done with the season. And nobody still cares. Yep, I... Totally um, thought we were done. A lot of people care, just not you. I definitely don't care. Anyway, so um, we see... I mean, see... I kind of do because I wish it was. But... So the magician and Tasha... <laughs> so stupid. Why are they even on the show? All they got was we got to see them set up... We a... got to see him look at topless photos online. That's what we got and to they see. And those were blurred out. Couldn't even see what it was. Wasn't and, even any fun. And it was like this kind of topless photo. Not like... You know, that kind of thing. It was I just... wasn't watching that hard, so I really couldn't tell you anyway, if you were um, Online, they set up an online account. That's the full extent of their storyline. This couple is... I almost feel bad for them, how badly they're striking out and how little interest anyone has in them. Which is funny because, on the other hand, Colton's just bringing him in and he's actually at the point where he's like, no, I think we're good. Uh, that, yeah, the, the normal ones. I know, they've really risen to the top as the healthiest couples here, which is not, it's a low bar, but Tammy, Sophie, and Colton. Sophie's very pregnant. They were going to have Kimberly, who they've been dating online for a year, which, goodness gracious, a year? Anyway. Um, anyway, sorry, I, that's just my own thing. Like, let's either just get it going. I mean, they, find someone interesting, go on that if, date, if let's get this ball rolling. If they're doing it online, they don't even really know if she's a girl or if... Or who she says she is. She looks or, anything like that. Or if she took I mean, pictures she could, of her cousin. Well, uh, what was that? That, that famous uh, TikToker, um, I think in like Japan or something, it says she was a 20-year-old woman and they recently found out that he's using f one of those face filters. It's like a 50-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. No, but it, well, the point is he was he was doing videos, so it doesn't really matter to anyone else whether he was a, a guy or a girl. Yeah, I guess he wasn't trying to be anyone's wife. Right. So anyway, so Tammy and Sophie, uh, they have a uh, she was gonna come out. She's not because of COVID. Uh, Sophie, she has a birth plan, but they're not really sure if she's gonna uh, if it's gonna work the way she wants. Well, she's not pregnant anymore, so there's your spoiler. Well, and so she goes to bed, makes this big deal about how Colton wasn't with her in the beginning of her labor. And I was like, that kind of, I mean, that does make sense to me because it's like, if he's going to be up with her, he might as well get some sleep. But what did, was a little confusing to me. And you women me, can really drag that labor out and out and out. <laughs> gosh. Anyway, after nine hours, they go to the hospital. And I'm a little bit like, maybe they should have gone earlier because she's in so much pain and discomfort. She can't sit down. She can't buckle herself. And all I was thinking was like. That is totally not a traditional Mormon going to the. Hospital. No, traditional fundamentalist Mormon. I have Whatever. no idea. The no. ones that marry more than one wife. Fundamentalist LDS. They'll get very upset if we confuse them the way they would. They would be upset if they confused us with like the Southern, the, the Southern Baptist with the Westboro Baptist. They're different. Anyway, wait. Let me. Huh. She's screaming in the car. But then uh, the point I was gonna make. I, I know you're gonna say something sarcastic. Are you dying? I'm dying. Anyway, is that. Um, I do get, though, because of COVID, that they probably did wait as long as possible because you want to spend the le least amount of time in a hospital if there's active COVID patients. But I don't know if that's the case because... I mean, wouldn't you think, like, you know, yeah, I want to have a baby in the hospital. But I don't know. It just seemed like the perfect time to bring in a midwife or... Well, they had a doula. But I don't the know doula... what words you're saying. <laughs> John was not, apparently was not preg uh, pr uh, present when I, I was definitely pregnant. was not pregnant when she was pregnant. Anyway, skip over them. We get to the Snowdens. Taylor's there. Very little, so a lot happens and nothing happens in this episode in the sense that... Nothing happened. Last episode, we saw that she wanted to stay. This episode, we saw that she wanted to stay and she's staying, but it took the whole episode to get there. So she said she just wanted to stay. Why? Why? This is my family. Now, I kind of feel like... This yeah. is what confuses me. Is just because you're a polygamist, we're just going to throw out all the rules of dating? They She spent three days with them, and now she's moving in? But what do I know? Well, I mean, everybody's playing around in imaginary land when the truth is, hey, every day I'm here recording, I get a paycheck. Yeah. Let's drag this out. Anyway, so then they say, well, Christy... 
Chrissy was was kind of like in first. So let's see how she feels. Chrissy's like, heck yeah, throw away the suitcase. Um, but I have to c call out one thing he said, which is she's like, so I'm really clear about my needs. And if I have needs, do I just need to wait my turn? Or can I like hop the line? And he said, if I'm under serving you, and I was like, that is not a phrase I thought I would ever hear in relation to the marital bed. Under serving you definitely sounds very much like something you would use on a farm. Anyway, that made me laugh. So she stays. She's just moving right in. Uh, but, but this was after, I mean, didn't he kind of lay it out there? It's like, oh, yeah, well, the deal is you stay and I pay your bills. Like, did he say that? Yes. At How the did dinner. I miss that? I don't know. But I was like, well, I guess there it is. Yeah, I guess we'll move in too. Uh, Basically, I mean, anyway. But, well, that and... Nothing I could say about that would be appropriate. You know, I'll, this whole show. So then we get to B Roberta, Danielle, and Garrick. Mr. Creepy Creeperson. Oh, my gosh. He took it up a few notches this week. He's just always like, you know, Roberta is so attractive. Oh, her body. And it's like, obviously, when people date, Sexual attraction between each other is normal. You don't normally stare at a camera and go on and on about it. It's, I mean, of course, you know, what do I know? So Danielle's on the beach. She's um, That's she's Large alone. Wife, for those who don't know. Large Wife is on the beach alone. Calls her sister-in-law, who is very carefully trying not to say, I told you so. That's basically what she's doing. She's like, wow, that sounds really difficult. And you can just see that she's like... I'm not going to say I told you so. I'm not going to do it. That's not going to help anyone. That's not going to move this conversation forward. It's not going to be helpful in the moment. But I was so right, and I wish I could say it, but I'm not going to. That's kind of what I picture the sister-in-law going through. Uh, Danielle's like, if it was up to me, we wouldn't be doing this, but God made us. And I'm like, I don't think God wants any part of that particular statement. Pretty sure you dumbasses got all in on this shit. And, um, and then... Ship? <laughs> this shit ship? ship? No, John... <laughs> <laughs> Give me demonetized. Anyway, uh, so then they cut to uh, Roberta and Garrick, where he's basically like, it's nice for Roberta to this see. This is after he perved down on the boat. Right. And then you can see how little he thinks of Danielle, because the whole time is like, well, now that you can see that Danielle's working through these jealousy issues, and it's going to be very difficult for you. And she's like, okay, but it, it I, I can't do this if she's not on board. And he's like, well, you know, she'll get better. And then she says, you need a man up. This is all through the translation app. You need to man up and just not, don't think it just hope it goes away. You need to go and talk to her until she understands. And I think he was a little taken aback. Like, what, you mean that you're going to tell me what to do too? Like, I thought this was this whole deal where I get to just kind of bang two chicks mm -hmm. and, and, and be in love with everyone and everybody gets to deal with their own problems on their own. He's going to do the Cody Brown school of not to drag in another show. I can't even start with Cody Brown. That's a whole other issue. Is he your hero? Oh, anyway. So it's not going <laughs> particularly well because she just lays down the law. She's just like, I can't do this if Danielle's unhappy. My guess is, though, is that Danielle's unhappy. And Danielle said as much as that she's unhappy. And she's like, well, I just need to get over it. And I'm like... Well, then, good guess. I mean, sometimes it just feels like people, all these people are wearing the wrong size shoe. And they're like, the shoe really hurts. And it's really uncomfortable. But I've got to get over it. And I'm like, or it's the wrong shoe. Maybe this isn't the shoe for you. Maybe this is the reason why it's so uncomfortable. is because this is not healthy for you. Huh? I had someone who said I was, I was too pro polygamy in my recaps and I was like I don't know what recaps you're watching because I think this is a terrible idea all around hey, I'll cr watch crazy people are still out on the internet they're, unfortunately they're, they're all adults they can do what they want and it's really none of my business other than you put it on TV label it entertainment I'm gonna watch and have opinions anyway <laughs> <laughs> I have opinions anyway I'm just gonna share them with the world what do you think I hate these people. I mean, oh, you don't hate them. Someone, someone wants us to get rid of you, to cut you from the show. Well, then who would I? I gotta have someone to talk to. So anyway, hey. we'll see you later. The season's not over.